What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Hope everybody's doing good. Today, we're joined by one of the most dominating defensive ends there is right now in the NFL. He's an elite force right now on the Miami uh, Miami Dolphins. Zach Sealer, how you doing, man? Welcome to Community Voices. How you feeling? Kevin, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, excited to talk to you guys and kind of go over some of this stuff, yeah. Awesome, awesome. I'm say, we're glad to have you. We're glad to have you now. You know, I, I want to take this episode to actually focus more so on your work off the field and on the field. We know that you go crazy, you dominate. We know what you do on the field. It's well tested, yeah. well seen. But I, you know, I would love to just kind of step into the work that you do off the field, especially highlighting the month of November, which is also Native American Heritage Month. So mm -hmm. I would love to know just how did you kind of become involved with the Seminole Tribe and, and things like that? How did you become involved with that? Yeah. So we got a we have a spot in the middle of the state uh, center of uh, Florida, Sebring, Florida. Um, we've been there for late nineties with my family going there. Um, my wife and myself bought a house there, uh, just before COVID or just during COVID. Um, that's kind of been our getaway. We love being out there. We love spending time out there from being out there and from kind of having some companies out there and working through those companies and with locals and people out there. We've met a few uh, people that are part of the Seminole tribe, um, and, and just working with them and the experience we've had, we just have, we loved it. And, uh, from that, we kind of grew into a uh, serious safe haven foundation and uh, what we do and was able to kind of link the gap between that and the outdoors, um, the Seminole tribe and uh, the youth down here in Miami. I love it. I love it. I, I would love to know, too, because, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you learn so much. It's a different experience. You know, you did, there's so much different learning. I would love to know, you know, what kind of what have you learned from like these experiences and uh, how does it kind of change your viewpoint on like life and the way you view certain things? Yeah. So, uh, being from Michigan, um, I really didn't know much about the Seminole tribe or about Florida or really the Florida outdoors at all. Um, coming down here, spending time out here, just, just getting appreciation for the land and just the rich history here and what the Seminoles went through, um, and to where they're at now and kind of learning that path and sitting and talking with them and hearing their stories and, learning how they grew up and what they, and it's just been so cool and so eye-opening. Um, so I love talking about that. I love it. Now, you know, I know there's a lot of like I said, information and knowledge to learn. I mean, you've already learned so much yourself as well. Um, from your take, what do you say some, some accurate depictions um, of like the Seminole culture and like, what do you think that we can kind of um, continue to build off of with those depictions and kind of further yeah. educate ourselves on it? Yeah, I think uh, they're very proud and, uh, um, I think proud is the best way and just happy to be part of the tribe. Um, there's such a rich, like I said, history there where they, when all this stuff was going on and the colonization of America and people going out, they stayed in Florida. They didn't move West. They went down to the swamps, went down to the Everglades and they lived there instead of leaving. They said, no, we don't want to leave. Um, and I think that's such a cool thing about them. And that kind of carries over to today. Um, and uh, they, with, that's how they end up with the they have their their reserve uh, big cypress there in the everglades down here in florida they got their hollywood reserve down here in miami they got the tampa and they got brighton they got so many spots right here because they were so prevalent in the florida because they were all over and they didn't leave when almost being forced to and right. it was just such a cool history to learn about and see and just from that it sparked this passion and me my wife my dad all of us that run the foundation um, to be, hey, we want to show this because um, we have such a passion for the outdoors mm -hmm. and we have such a passion for, um, I've had players out at some of our spots out there in Sebring and uh, those guys have never really, some of those guys have never seen um, like a night sky without any noise or lights or anything like that besides the stars, mm -hmm. no service, no nothing. And that's when it hit me because I'm from a small town mm -hmm. and I'm like, damn, it'd be really cool to be able to do something like this with some kids from where I'm at, from the Miami area. Um, where I can make an impact and be able to give some of these kids some of these experiences where they wouldn't be able to have it. And then from that, in our relationship with a few of the seminal um, people that we were friends with, um, we ended up kind of getting a little plan together with the foundation. And we ended up sitting down with some of the council, uh, seminal council, and we're like, hey, we'd love to do something like this. Um, so we actually did a, because what more shows Florida's true outdoor history than the Seminoles who grew up and lived here off the land? Exactly. Um, which led to our cultural event tour we just had this past summer, and we hopefully will be having 
we have plans for more of those in the future, um, which is taking kids from the Miami area. And now it's not overnight. It's not kind of under the stars, which eventually we'd love to do stuff like that too. Um, and it's kind of on the plan, on the docket. But um, the cultural tour kind of takes the kids from the Miami area or from wherever in Florida um, and uh, that wouldn't usually have the chance. And we take them to Big Cypress um, Reserve and there's an Ata Tiki Museum there that we took these kids to to show them the history of Florida. Um, and they kind of can walk through the, there's a little walk path through the uh, Everglades there, kind of see what Florida was like yeah. um, way back when, which is crazy to think about. And then uh, some of the, uh, the seminal culture is uh, alligator wrestling. Um, mm. Yeah, and uh, we had, we have um, someone come out and do some alligator wrestling for the kids and just seeing that hands-on experience of these guys are really in there with a live gator with nothing on and just it's it's very cool experience so yeah i hope that answered your question i know it's no, kind of a long it, answer but no you definitely did you, you answered more than enough yeah. that was, that's nice because all those experiences those those moments are things that really just like yeah. change kids lives like you said open their perspectives and really gives them an idea of you know times and things before them and like where those things are still prevalent in now so like that's mm -hmm. i was definitely no, no such thing as a long answer there that was perfect Perfect. Now, yeah. I have a couple more questions for you, but I do want to mention to everybody that will be donating 5K to the Steelers Safe Haven Foundation to continue pushing that mission forward. Of course, you, um, I, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna kind of ask, you know, how, how did this, how did the foundation start? I think you kind of covered it earlier on a little bit too, but I, I would love to know, um, you know, are you doing anything, or are there, are there any plans to do anything for Native American Heritage Month in particular? And um, also, like. But what, what was the goal for like 20, for this year? What was the goal for the foundation this year? And like, do you think you hit it? Do you plan to like, there's just no time to hit it? Like, what is the kind of, uh, what was kind of like the goal going into it for this year? Yeah, so this year, um, we we finally got our plan together. We got our foundation set up late last year. So that was kind of just, that's last year. Then this year was like, all right, let's start making work on the foundation. Let's start getting things together. Let's start figuring this out. And uh, our big goal right now is Native American History Month. Um, Heritage Month, I'm sorry, um, is to get and try to raise um, $10,000 to be able to show these kids these experiences. And then we also are trying um, for the Houston game, uh, 1127 here in Miami, we're trying to, we're doing an event with uh, having some of the kids, some kids come out to the stadium and be able to represent that and that win on those events and can have an experience now at a stadium where they're able to, uh, I'm sorry, I just got to something Maybe. popped up i got a facetime call and the whole screen just shut down um <laughs> and so anyway so yeah so have an event at the stadium and mm -hmm. uh let uh let those kids come and be able to see what it's like where i work and what i do and kind of even more just breach that gap and just give these experiences lifelong experiences to hopefully have these kids find a passion that they might not have known a lot, a lot of kids i mean a lot of kids want to be professional athletes i was blessed and fortunate enough to be able to be here but a lot of kids maybe in miami area that don't know what outdoors are like maybe they fall in love with it maybe they want to do something outdoors whether it be with the fwc or marine or, or whatever like just spark an interest and that's kind of what our goals and passions are to be able to provide the opportunities for kids that can create some kind of interest like that i love that i love that and i think too you know i think people hear the Oh, you know, my kid gets to go to a game, but like, like you said, there's really a lot of opportunity. Like, you know, of course, you can be in your position to where you know you're super talented. You put in the hard work, and you continue mm -hmm. to put in the hard work to be where you are now. But like, you know, you never know who they may meet. They may see a coordinator or a certain coach, or maybe even somebody who's like on the medical team, and be like, oh, that's really mm -hmm. cool. like. And then those things yeah. spark more opportunities or more ideas for them to kind of yeah. have a trajectory to be somebody. So those those things that seem like they're just going to an event can really change their lives. All those though. Yeah. I an awesome goal. I'm glad that that's, yeah. that's going to be awesome to do for the rest of the year. And I can't wait to see what next year holds, too. That's going to be amazing. It's going to be super amazing. I'm very excited. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Now, I know you're a busy man, so I'm going to ask you one last question so I can make sure I still respect your time. But I have to ask, you know, we kind of touched on this year's goals, but and I kind of mentioned next year, but are there any um, big goals that you have in mind? I know you probably have many, but are there any big goals that you have in mind for year 2023? It sounds so weird saying, but... Oh, uh, yeah, no. Shoot, we got a... Uh... We're trying to do a big, I don't say gala, but event, a uh, big fundraiser push an event in April, um, working with Seminoles and doing it at the Hard Rock Casino here in uh, the hotel and casino here in Miami, kind of to really kind of get that big blitz of getting our name out there and really kind of making a footprint where we've been doing these small events here and there to really be able to 
get that out there and maybe make it an annual event to really be able to push more events and more opportunities for these kids each year now. Um, like I said, like this is our first year of really operating. So like kind of not say under the radar, but just kind of trying to figure out who we are and do what we're doing. I think we're finally getting it tailored down. Well, okay. We have these events. We have these cultural tours, hopefully four times a year, every quarter. Mm-hmm. All right. We have the American history month or heritage month where we can do this. And we got these games we can get these kids to, and then we can do this with this side of things. Um, so th- we have a lot that, that really is the big push is getting that and getting the name out there to be able to open all that, all those ag- windows up for these kids. Um, we would love to bet you to do a uh, overnight trip out there so we can really experience the stuff, stu- uh, do a campfire, kind of build a campfire, just, you know, kind of like a Boys and Girl Scouts type thing where yeah. bring kids out, you get so many cabins or whatever, and you can do campfires and stories and kind of see what it's like out in the wilderness at night. Um, hopefully have some animal encounters and stuff like that. It can just be so cool for some of these kids where you don't, you really don't have opportunities like that in, in, in Miami or in big cities at all. I love that. You know, those, tr- yeah. like said, we've been kind of saying it the whole time, those true experiences, those true moments. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially with social media and stuff today, it is like, you don't really get those experiences or even yeah. look for them, but they really can mm-hmm. change a lot, change your mind. So yeah. I, I love the work that you're doing, man. Keep it up. Those things are so important. So I just, Thank you. just know I'm a fan. And you can keep going all the way. I yeah. fully support, full on support. Appreciate it. Of course, man. Well, look, you know, I think what is it, Tuesday or Friday? I don't know what day it is, but I know the game's <laughs> coming up. I know you got practice. I know yeah. you're super busy. So I'm going to let you go. I really appreciate your time. Keep doing the work with the yeah. foundation. Um, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of Community Voices. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much. It was awesome being here with you guys. See ya. Awesome. Awesome.